well, seeing the fact that we are now almost at the end and that uh, many teams are now fighting for, uh, for the points, for uh, uh, table ranking. Now we are entering the period where uh, many teams, they don't, they don't care anymore about uh, how we call it, champagne, champagne football. You know, about the beauty of football. Now it's about how you can achieve and collect points. So yesterday for us, it was a very difficult game from both sides, from physical side, uh, and mental side as well, because knowing that we are uh, coming after a defeat, that we wanting to participate and stay on top of the table, we needed to be strong. We needed to be uh, concentrated yesterday to achieve those points, so, and uh, we managed it. We knew before the game that we had to be organized to prepare this game uh, correctly, and I'm very happy that the boys yesterday responded after such a de defeat on that manner, and of course, happy with three points and staying uh, high up the table. But I'm happy that since we started, the boys, they know the, their task and uh, everybody knows whenever uh, we make a call on, on them, whenever they're on the pitch, they know what they have to do. They know the positions, they know the, uh, all the things that they have to show during the game whenever uh, we need those boys. And actually yesterday I was, uh, I was not worried. I, uh, I believed in those guys and I, I believe in those guys because I know that uh, they have qualities and we all know that they have qualities to be here with us. And yesterday they, uh, they played very a very good game, all of them, the youngsters, the experienced uh, ones. So I think that yesterday we managed our game on a correct way. We uh, agreed before the game that we are going for, uh, for a victory, we are going for three points and sometimes during some games there are moments where you have to defend, where you have to stay focused, where you have to even go in a lower block and stay organized in order to, uh, to not to concede goals. And I'm very happy that, for example, I think we are the team who uh, has the most uh, clean sheets in a, in a league. We are the team uh, who conceded the less goals. We are the team who conceded the less goals on set pieces. Uh, so far, we we managed to be organized when it has to be done. So I'm happy that the boys, they know the task. It means when we have to defend, we know how we have, we have to defend. When we attack, we know how we want to attack, how we want to press high up the pitch. And when we want to sit down and be organized in the middle zone or on the lower block, we know to do it. So yesterday, uh, it was very important to be organized. It was very important to manage the game in certain period, especially when you play against the teams who are uh, who uh, who don't have nothing to lose? Uh, it was the same case against uh, Northeast United. It was the same case yesterday, and now I think in the last part of this ISL we will see more and more tight games where the small details will make difference. Uh, if you remember, it was the case in our game against uh, Bengaluru FC where we conceded goal uh, from a set piece, from a free kick, and that was it. So these kind of things can make difference now. So. Hopefully, till the end that we will manage uh, our games on the correct way, we will manage to achieve uh, more victories, more points, and then hope, uh, hope for the best. So, there are five more games to go. We have to stay focused because it is hard work. It will be tough physically and mentally. So, we hope that we will come uh, on top of it. Well, like we just said, the boys, they know the task. They know from a training session, some of them, uh, Sandeep, he was playing even uh, last year. Sanjeev is a young guy, promising guy, so he knows uh, he knows the position. He, he, he yesterday he was uh, very uh, mature in his interventions. Uh, it was not easy for him, okay, especially in the second half because on a physical level it was his very first game from uh, from start. You know, and knowing that these boys they know the job. It was a new line, even with Joy and experienced Sipo who scored that uh, winning goal. You know, I was not worried. I was not worried because we saw during our training session in the previous period that these boys. They are working hard, they know their job, you know, and uh, we have that uh, positive energy and the influence of our team that they were yesterday not even feeling that they are coming from a second, uh, let's say, second line or a second plan, that all the boys accepted them immediately, so they had the uh, help from, uh, from other guys on the pitch, from, uh, they had the confidence and uh, support from, from the bench. So, you know, these kind of things create a team and that's what we have, I think. So. Whoever is on the pitch, whoever is participating and playing, we are not worried. We believe in them. You know, again, since we started, when you uh, start a serious job with a football team, 
there are certain things that you have to complete. Uh, it's, a, it's like a puzzle. You know, you have to start with your defensive organization. Then you have to start the way you want to play, the way you want to con conserve the ball, the way you want to compose actions, the way you want to defend in a lower block, in the middle zone. Uh, the way you want to press high. So all these things are very important. And then all these things, all these moments, it takes time. And then in one moment also you have to continue working on set pieces. So in this league, uh, you have to manage uh, to organize your defense line. You have to manage to organize your attacking line, how you press, how you score goals, how you want to play football, how you want to score goals from open football, how you want to defend on set pieces how you want to score on set pieces. And then during the season, it takes time. And then from time to time, we were speaking a couple of times where I was mentioning that we as a team, we want to become unpredictable. We want to become diversified in a way that we can score from all possible angles, all possible moments. So, And it was the case. So now on, I think as a team, we are capable of scoring goals from open football, scoring goals from individual actions, from set pieces. And that's how you build up a team. So. Now it's like six months because whoever expects that one team perform, especially in the ISL, what I've seen so far in India, that many people in India, many, many fans from all the clubs, they expect teams to perform immediately after one month. It's impossible because there must be kind of consistency if you want to build up a, a process, if you want to build up a system where the team can perform on the highest level, on top level, to explore all the possible potential you have. It cannot happen in one month. So the people with the hype and hype, they expect, okay, uh, why don't we win in a one month? No, it, there must be consistency and that's why we are building up further on. That's why we are now, after six months, still building up because it's a kind of legacy that we want to uh, have for the next period as well, where the team will continue being strong, being uh, uh, competitive, being uh, as a unit that later on you just add these certain things and you become stronger and better. And this is why now maybe in the last period we we became dangerous from open football, we became dangerous from set pieces and that's that's football, that's a team. Sometimes during one season you build up those momentums which can bring you positive results. So hopefully that we will continue like that. Uh, I'm very happy for him. I think that in the last period it was not easy for him. He's also here with his... Uh, wife they are both uh, beautiful persons we are very glad and happy to have them uh, very soon they will uh, become parents and we are all happy for them and yesterday we were so thrilled and happy seeing him scoring because these kind of things bring you joy it's kind of relief you know it was not easy for him he's a guy who's playing already uh, second season here in, uh, in india uh, he's a valuable player He's very important for the team he's very important for the dressing room for the other teammates especially the youngster youngsters because he can lead them he can guide them through the difficult moments so not only him i think that we have uh, uh, many uh, very quality human beings in our team we are happy with them so we will we hope that we will continue till the end of this season uh, on positive way and then again hope for the best you know you know now till the end of the season we will see more and more uh, teams uh, not not playing nice football because now it's about the fight now it's about the struggle of, to getting points you know now it's about uh, win games get points and at the end it doesn't matter how so sometimes it can be nice sometimes it can be ugly because football on the highest level many times we were witnessing uh, the games it can be a World Cup, it can be a Champions League level, whatever. Sometimes the games they are not pretty, you know, because the teams, they know they have to fight for those points, for uh, ranking, you know. So now I think that in the last two, three weeks we are now entering, this will be it. I think more and more teams will be more focused and organized on, OK, how can we get points? Like, despite previous period or... Uh, thinking about nice football. No, no, now it's about struggle fight because all the teams who want to participate in top four, they want to get those points to be there. So we are one of those teams and then hope that we will achieve and manage these uh, next games and this next period to be there. It will be hard, it will be tough, but I can promise and sure that we will give our best and the boys will do everything on the pitch for those points.